Hey, what's up, guys? I'm finally back from my uh, three-week stay in Siberia in the middle of the um, Arctic tundra. You know how it is. You know, I wrestled a few polar bears and all that fun stuff. So now I'm back. I'm going to teach you how to use Node.js and Express um, and uh, all that fun stuff, you know. So um, just a brief rundown of what that is. Um, Node.js is basically a giant uh, JavaScript framework that I guess is a framework. I don't really know. I don't know all the terminology perfectly, but anyway. It's just a JavaScript framework or library that allows you to do magical things with JavaScript, basically. It makes your life way easier, and it allows you to develop really complex um, web applications, okay? She took my diamond ring. She took my watch and chain. She took the keys to my Cadillac car. So... Yeah, we're going to be moving on from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and moving on to something really advanced and something that you'll be definitely using if you actually further want to further your uh, web development career. This is something that's very popular right now, and if you know this, you're good to go because I made a really cool website with this whole thing. And uh, yeah, so anyway, um, Express.js is just a, uh, it's called a package. It's basically a library that fits into Node.js and it allows you to make a web server, make a dynamic web server, and it's just magical, okay? And all that fun stuff. So anyway, um, yep, I'll be using um, Visual Studio Code. That's like the best IDE, one of the best right now. I love it, it's very nice, very simple, good UI, all that fun stuff. So that's what I'll be using. I actually recommend that you use it. Um, you can get add-ons with it and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I can change the themes, anyway. So, um, also, what you're going to need is make sure you install Node.js from their website. Um, it's free, of course. So, you know, just download that. And then with that, it comes NPM, which is something that we'll be using. It's called Node Package Manager. That's good to go. And then also, one more thing you need is a terminal, okay? You can't just use the the Windows console. That's not going to cut it, okay? I would recommend you get something like Git Bash. It's, it's called Git Bash. I'll show you the website. It should be on the screen right now. Um, yeah, so make sure you download that and install it, and then that's what we'll, what we'll be using to run everything, all the code and stuff inside the terminal, okay? So, uh, yeah, so let's get right into it, okay? So we're going to open up a file explorer here, you know, this is where we, you know, <laughs> look at files. So I made a, we have a, I have like a drive, a hard drive, and I have my development and all that stuff. So inside this folder here, YouTube tutorials, I'll keep all my YouTube tutorials from now on, because I want to be ordered. But anyway, we're going to make a new web application, okay? So you want to keep your application slash website inside of its own folder, okay? You don't, want, you don't want to have it in the same folder as other things, of course. So anyway, just make a make your own folder for it. Let's call it, um, we'll call it hmm, YouTube Node Tutorial. You name it whatever you want. Don't call it that. Name it something cool, something that you like, okay? Maybe an idea that you've been thinking of that you want to you want to make a website for because once you learn this you can do pretty much everything it's so cool anyway so we're going to go ahead and uh that's good here we can uh, do this now we're going to go right click here and assuming you followed my advice and downloaded git bash you can right click and do git bash here okay if not just open up a terminal a turn terminal and then uh get over to this part on or wherever you put the folder of course get inside the folder okay so if we do ls it'll be empty that's the same uh, hopefully you know a little bit of terminal terminal commands really basic crap um so ls of course just lists lists everything inside of a folder so anyway there's nothing in there so that means we're actually inside of here because there's nothing inside of here yeah so the first step that the, ser the first step that you want to do is um initialize your project get their project started okay so you would do that with the command npm init so init obviously stands for initialize okay so npm init and then press enter okay boom you get all that lettering and stuff you can read that if you want to um so the first thing it's going to ask you is for a package name okay so sometimes if your if your folder name is it's legal in terms of th what you can name it um then you could just press enter and go ahead but i don't think i can name it that so uh, yeah i need a url friendly character uh, name so I'm just going to do Node.js tutorial. So that's what I'll name mine. So that's going to be the, your your project name. Okay. So press enter and then you can put the version. Um, if you press enter, that's just the default right here. So 1.0, that's the default. I'm going to leave it like that. You can add a description. So I'll, I'll say, you can leave it default if you want to for this too. So I'm going to just say YouTube Node.js tutorial lit bro. Okay, so we're going to have an uh, entry point. I believe that's just where your program starts. So go ahead and type app.js. I believe that's how that works. You don't need anything for that. Nothing for that. 
nothing for that. You see, author, I'm Illuminati Productions, of course, the best YouTuber on YouTube. So I'm going to type that, name yourself whatever you want to name yourself, Billy Bob the Third, whatever you want to name yourself. Enter, a license, you don't really need that. Um, so, um, it's just going to verify all that. So if it looks good to you, just press OK or press Enter. OK, so now we have our project made. So if we do LS, it'll list. We have we now have a file. OK, so we have this little file. Here. <laughs> I said that weird file here. So what we're going to do is you, you don't need to get um, you don't need to use that anymore for now. So just minimize it. So we're going to open up a we're going to add a open a folder. OK, and we're going to locate that folder. Let's find it. YouTube tutorials, YouTube and then select folder. Now it's going to open it inside of your IDE, of course. Okie dokie. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. It's a, this is all very simple, okay? You're going to do exactly what I just did every time you make a new uh, project, okay? So yeah, we're inside of your folder, inside of the folder here now. We see the file that we just generated, okay? Okay, that's just our information, of course. Looks good to me. Okie dokie. So um, yeah. So now that we have that, we need a app.js file so we'll make a new file here let's we'll say app.js okay that's what we'll call it so it's app.js js js being javascript and hopefully by now you know some a good amount of javascript you don't need to know every single thing you don't need to be like an advanced javascript developer but you need to know the basics okay because i learned this when i barely even knew javascript so you can too so um, app.js and nothing needs to be in there yet so we're going to go back to our terminal here and we're going to install our first node package okay so we're going to be learning about packages i think the next episode don't so don't really worry about what it is yet so just go ahead and type this command in right now so npm install okay and then express which is the package name express js so we're going to call express that's what it's called yep and then we'll do dash dash save okay so this is going to install a package name express and then we're doing dash dash save to save it to the file here. So every time you load it onto another machine, for example, it'll automatically install Express for you without you typing this command, basically. It's all very magical. So don't worry, you'll be learning much more later on. So press enter and it's gonna do all that. It's gonna install every dependency that comes with that package because that package needs other packages to work. You know, it's just a very long chain of packages and this is magical, so it does it all for you, okay? So it looks like it's done, okay? So it adds it to your dependency list. So if we want to go here and check it, so if you click package.json, we can see our de dependencies and it listed it lists our um, our package here. So that's it's here because we did dash dash save anyway. So we'll be going over that next episode probably. So don't worry, do not worry at all. So we also have this folder here. This is our folder with all of our package packages, all our code. This is just everything that you're going to be using. It's like an API, basically, if you know what APIs are. Um, you don't have to use this file. Don't even touch this file ever. Just, like, don't even look at it. Don't even think about it. It's just, yeah, it doesn't exist. Pretend it's not there, okay? So you don't even need to worry about that, really. So anyway, uh, anyway, so we can actually go ahead and create the app itself now. The, the server, we're going to make our first server, okay? First web application, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that, and it's going to be our app data. Uh, it's going to be in our app.js file, so we can close the other file. We don't need that anymore. We're just looking at that. So, okay, so we're going to have this code here. So we're going to do const express. Don't worry about what I'm typing yet. Don't worry. We'll be going over this line of code in the next episode. For now, we're just going to learn how to make our web server. Okay, so express. So we got to require express. Okay, cool. And we're going to do const app is equal to express as a method if you know javascript of course if it has the two parentheses at the end or yeah parentheses um that makes it a method of course so what is this so we now have a variable here and we can use this variable to start the server this app variable basically is our server we can run many commands with it probably well pff, i'm saying probably because i don't really use the well pff, actually i do never mind so you can run many, many commands with it okay but the most famous command and the most popular command of course the most simple command is going to be app.listen okay and this is the command that starts your server okay and it's very magical okay so even this even this id tells you exactly what you need to have so first you need a port number okay so what you're going to do is choose a port okay so what that means is basically you have a url right um, if you're if you're not using like a server an actual physical server you would want to use your, your computer's home URL basically hold on one second okay so I pulled this up for you guys it's just my browser here so if you type localhost uh, hopefully my porn doesn't come up 
just kidding. So if you type localhost, then um, if nothing's running on there, hopefully there isn't. Okay, good. So that means that's this is just a, basically your website that's stored on your machine, basically. Okay, and uh, yeah. So um, so if we want to add a port to this, we would do colon and then type whatever port that we want to add. So we'll do port 3000. So colon 3000. So this localhost is the same as typing like a website name like online reading dot com. That's the same exact thing. Okay. But the port can be 3000 if you want it to be 3000. Um, anyway, it's all very simple crap. Don't really worry about this. So anyway, so we're just loading our local host, which is our IP. Okay. Our computer's IP on port 3000. Okay. So this is where our website's going to be. That's where we're going to put ours. Okay. You can, you can put on whatever port you want. You could do 5000. You could do 80. I think 80 is the default. You can do, um, 4000 probably. You can do like pretty much anything, I believe. So Yep, just go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll go back to our ID here. So we'll do listen on port. That's the first parameter, right? So port 3000. Okay. Okay, and the next thing it says we need is a, um, a string of the host name, which is basically just your URL. But in this case, we're using our default URL, our local host, our, our default IP. So we don't even need that, actually. So we're just going to skip that one because we can. We're savages. And we're going to add the next part, the next parameter right here, the callback function. Okay. And your callback function basically... Um, in simple terms, it's just going to be the the piece of code that is run when your server starts up, okay? So this is going to be the piece of code that runs when your server starts up. So we'll do console.log. That's a uh, function of sorts. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's a type of function. It's like a shorthand. Ugh, I'm talking so fast. But anyway, so we can say, um, what do we want to say? Um, Node.js web application is now running on port 3000 okay so basically you are telling your web application which is app to listen on port 3000 meaning it's going to run on port 3000 so it's going to wait and so it's going to check the port 3000 and it's going to deliver the website to that place basically <laughs> so it's just going to start a web server on um port 3000 of course and it's going to run this piece of code uh, right there so it's going to print this out as soon as the code is run or as soon as the server started and that's literally all you need only three lines of code is what you need to start your own web application okay it's magical really so once we have our code you'll be typing this every time you want to start a web application okay don't forget that so just just practice with that if you need to um so to run this actually to start your web application we need to go back into our terminal right Make sure you're in the right directory here. So we are. So we have app.js. And we're going to do node space app.js. Okay. And so that's going to run it. And it's going to say, oh, there we go. We got our message. Node.js web application is now running on port 3000. So let's go ahead and check that. So if we go to our uh, website here. Okay. So we're here. Let's reload. Okay. We get an error. But this works. This is good. Okay. So we're on here at least. Okay. So it does work. It doesn't say uh, cannot find host or something like that. Some error. So we're actually on here. So we can, it says cannot get um, this. This is a route, but don't worry yet. Um, so good. It works. Okay. So now you know your website works, your web application works. And now we're good to go. We, we set ourselves up. So now we know how to make um, web applications from now on. And we're going to be moving on next episode to the NPM, the Node Package Manager, which is going to allow us to basically install packages, which we can do fun stuff with. And packages are very vital to Node application development and all that fun stuff. And then once we master that, it'll be really easy to master that. Once we master that, we're going to move on to Express Routes, which will allow us to start actually building our website. And then we're going to move on to Route Parameters, which is even more. And then we're actually going to move on to using HTML in here template engines and it's just a lot of stuff okay and it's super easy it's super fun let's get it okay so before i go before i leave you alone um stop annoying you i'm going to tell you that if you go to this website here well i'll leave it i'll show it on the screen right now but if you go to the web that website there i'll leave it in the description make sure you check it out i provide all the code from that this episode and all of the code with um usually comes with a description Sometimes it won't, but sometimes it will because I want to help you guys out. So if you have any troubles, if you can't remember the code that I typed during an episode, or if you can't remember for some reason how to make a Node.js application, you could literally just go to that um, URL, save it, bookmark it, whatever, and then you have the code to run an application. So you could use it as a reference. I'm, I use this all the time for um, coding. If I forget a certain thing, I could just go back to my code snippets and then I can check out 
how to do something. I look at the code, look at the explanation I left for myself. So don't worry, guys. Um, all the code is there. I'll leave, leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So I'll be doing that for every single episode that I do from now on. Um, so yeah. So I know I talked fast. I know that was a lot. But if you enjoyed the video, if you found it good, leave a like, leave a subscribe because I'll be doing a video pretty much, hopefully, maybe, maybe not every every day. I used to, but I'm pretty busy now. I'm a senior in high school, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.